All right, guys, I'm back with another video. First, just want to say thank you guys for supporting me, liking my videos, everything like that. I really appreciate it. So big shout out to y'all for showing up for me. I greatly appreciate it. You know, if you do want to support me, you know, so just like the video, share the video. Simple things like that. Nothing too much, nothing too crazy. But I appreciate, you know what I'm saying, for you just showing up for me. You know what I mean? That means a lot to me. So I'm back at it with another video, though. I really want to talk about why they hate you on Body Game. You know what I'm saying? Just like understanding why they hate you specifically. You know what I mean? And why they will hate anybody who's like working on their fitness or, you know what I'm saying, working on your body. So first things first with fitness, why fitness is so powerful, why fitness is so strong and why I want you guys to get into the fitness, the fitness realm is that you become invincible, invincible longer periods of time. So what I mean by that is like sometimes for a lot of people who are younger, you know what I'm saying, you know, black don't crack, you know what I'm saying? But like a lot of people who are older, I mean, if you see them in the gym, one thing I notice is that I don't really know how old they are. You know what I'm saying? I understand it's like, you know, they're working out. They may be older than me, but I really don't know their age specifically. And that's what I want you guys to understand is that people will hate you just simply because you may be in your 50s, but you may look like you're in your late 30s or your 40s. Or you may be in your late 30s and you may look like you're in your 20s. So with that being said, is youth. When you are working on your body, you're working on yourself. If you have a younger appearing body and you're older, that is very, very attractive. And you almost get a second chance out of life. And I noticed like from my experiences, like just women that I work with or women who will go to the gym frequently is um, they were very serious about it. And one of the interactions I was having was just that guys were still approaching the women. You know what I'm saying? And they were older. They were obviously older, but you wouldn't know. But, you know, what I'm saying when women keep up with their bodies physically, men are very, very attracted to that. And it's like I believe they get a second. They live a double life. You know what I'm saying? They live two lives to the point where it's like their life really didn't end at a certain age. It kind of just started because they have a better knowledge of different situations and they have a better knowledge of just understanding their body and taking care of their body. But with that, it became to a point where it's like people would kind of tear them down. Like if you notice if it is. A older lady or if it is an older guy sometimes they get flack for wearing younger clothes or you know clothes that people would deem as not to be in their age group but that's just kind of like a hater mentality or that's kind of just like trying to tear somebody down because their body looks great like if it you know say a younger i mean an older lady may wear something just because you don't like it or you know what i'm saying just because you see that lady is able to attract attention of different men or whatever like that without having it surgery and it's natural she's just working on her body it's just like people will tear you down for that youth is very very powerful as you get older you know what I'm saying the younger you look the healthier you are people will envy you for, envy, envy you for that like health and I, that's why i tell you guys health is wealth because you know what i'm saying if you can't get up you can't chase the bag you know what i'm saying you can't date you can't get women you know what i'm saying and that's why i want you guys to understand is like when you practice a body game that's a big deal because that involves your health. You know what I'm saying? That that's your skin, that's your body, that's your muscle tone, that's everything. That encompasses everything when you're dealing with your body. And I want you guys to understand that that is a reason people will hate you specifically. Uh, another thing too for for you that I always say is that when you do work on yourself, you work on your body. All the attributes you had prior also goes on to you working on your body. You know what I'm saying? You having that nice aesthetic, that nice physique. It's just like when you practice body game, it's like you have all of those. You know what I'm saying? You have all those medals. You know what I'm saying? You may be smart. You may be social. You may be the life of the party. And now you have a nice body. You know what I mean? So it's just like you will get hate for that just because people will understand that like you're that much harder to compete with. You're that much harder to compete with and you're that much harder to approach or talk to. You know what I'm saying? It's just like when people aren't able to get close to you they'll figure out why they'll start looking at themselves and why they're not getting attention, the same type of attention and why they're not able to be in your vicinity. People will hate you for that. You know what I'm saying? Just for you not being in their bracket, it can cause some animosity. So, you know what I'm saying? Be careful about that. I also recommend you be, keep your eyes on appeal for that. 
another thing that I noticed that people will hate you for when you're practicing body games is that you are competitive. So, I, oh, yeah. So because you're able to manifest, because you're able to compete at like a higher level, I noticed that I'm either in competition with people or that I'm not really understanding I'm in competition. Like it's almost like a secret competition or the fact that I can compete with others it kind of causes like animosity. Like it's almost like to a point where it's like, because I'm able to be in certain rooms or I'm able to get out of certain rooms to transcend to another room, like another level, that competitive edge definitely will cause animosity. That definitely will cause people to be more curious about you in a sense, but also kind of be envy because it's just like, how are you able to level up this fast? Or how, you, how are you having all these opportunities and that's what i'm saying when you're able to compete when you're able to practice body game you know what I'm saying you become on a competitive edge it's like if you do want to compete or if you do want to level up because you have that mental stability to where it's like you can push through sets you can um increase workloads of sets and everything like that it's the same thing that goes for your life and it's like you can transcend your levels a lot faster just because you understand it takes discipline you have discipline so people will pretty much hate you for your discipline. You know what I mean? That's just another thing that you got to be cognizant of, be mindful of, because that is a thing that happens in every situation, and it doesn't matter who it is. Uh, next thing I notice is that people will hate you in a sense. You know what I'm saying? You won't get your credit, so they will hate what you are doing. You know what I'm saying? They will hate your lifestyle, but they will imitate. They will emulate everything that you do. So this is kind of like a double-edged sword. When I speak about influence and I talk about body game, it's almost as if, you know, saying somebody sees a new car. So let's say if you see your favorite car on the street and you get excited, you get all like, oh, my God, that's what I want. That's my dream car. That's my dream car. Take that same mentality, apply it to body game. It's the same mentality to where it's like you may have somebody's dream body, but you're so into cars, you don't even notice bodies that much. But it's a person out there that's critiquing everybody's body, you know what I'm saying, everybody's physique. And when you maximize your physique or you have that physique that is so sought after because it's such a worldwide thing and there's no race specifically that does this, everybody does this. But when you meet somebody who's so interested in bodies or they, they like they love bodies so much, you become their dream car in a sense. You know what I'm saying? You, your body, your essence of how you are becomes a dream car it becomes like a Ferrari in a sense. It's almost like, oh my gosh, like, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, because it's dealing with sociology and dealing with people, you, the person really can't fan out like that, but best believe they're thinking about it in that way. And that's the best way I can explain it is like a, like a shiny brand new car. That's your favorite car. You see it on the road. People do this in real life and it deals with different types of people, different races and everything like that. It's just because they want that, you know what I'm saying? It can become deadly or it can become dangerous because they may want that body so much that they will do anything to take it from you or they will emulate everything you do to get that body. You know what I'm saying? They will watch you like a hawk. Every move you make, if you have that body that they want, they will do everything that you do to get that level of, uh, you know, aesthetic or physique. So be careful with that because if somebody is emulating you too much so, that could be a problem because then, you know what I'm saying, it's almost as if they're coveting what you have and they're trying to basically destiny swap with you, which that should be definitely a video coming up. Uh, next thing I would say for, um, you know what I'm saying, why they hate you on body game is that body game is silent. So this deals with, I had a video about basically like class clowns or just this deals with people who are normally the center of attention body game is a silent killer and i always say that because when you practice body game you don't have to speak you don't have to present yourself you have a presence so what i mean by that is when you walk in rooms people are already coming up to you talk to you trying to figure out who you are rather than somebody who may have a super um great personality or big personality so where they have to show it with you, it's more silent. You can be relaxed. You can be introverted. You don't have to do too much to garner, to garner attention. You don't have to say jokes to get people to like you. You know what I mean? You're just more so being yourself, being chill, but everybody knows that this body, this you know what I'm saying, that's a nice body. You know what I'm saying? Everybody just appreciates it 
and they often look at it. You know what I'm saying? So that's definitely it's almost a sense, the sense of like, OK, you're a beautiful person that people are going to admire your beauty. You know what I'm saying? You're attractive, you're handsome. People are going to admire your handsomeness and everything like that. It's the same thing for body games. Like if your if your body's nice, you know what I'm saying? People do fantasize about your body just because it's not that seen often, especially in the United States. But, uh, you know, that is something that you need to be co uh, cognizant of, be like pay attention to that, understand it, because it is happening to you whether you understand it or not. And, uh, yeah, that's the end of the video. That's just reasons why people will hate you on body game. This is just something that you're probably going to deal with at some point of your journey. But um, just to give you, like, a better understanding and a deeper mindset and a deeper um, explanation of it, this is what this video is for. But if that was a good video, make sure you like the video, subscribe for more content, and I'll be back with another video. But thank you again for supporting me, watching me. And if you have any questions, if you have any questions, leave them down in the comment box below. And I'll see you in my next video. I'm out.